This is not your typical backyard game of croquet. In the annual showdown, the competition is a spectacle for the entire town of Annapolis, Maryland to see. St. John's College of Annapolis, representing a truly liberal arts establishment, faces the midshipmen of the athletic powerhouse, the Naval Academy, for the 32nd year in a row. You know, the main thing here is that everybody has a good time. You know, you look around, there's a bajillion people here. I don't know, some odd number of thousand people here, and they're all having a great time. They're really kicking off spring the right way. But people are here not just to watch croquet. The costumes and pageantry are exhibited both on and off the lawn. We are Roman Senators uh, this year. We thought it would be, I don't know, sort of, sort of funny since we, uh, our school has a classical education base and so we just thought it was a little clever. It's sort of grown into a huge event. A lot of people don't really watch the games, but uh, for those who do, definitely take it seriously and want their school to win. We, we more enjoy people watching than watching the game itself. Um, it's just a great day, especially when, when the weather is nice, being out and just seeing this, all the sights and sounds. In the 70s, Vietnam and post-Vietnam, relations between the two schools were pretty tense. So it was really a chance just to talk about stuff without, uh, you know, ask questions, be informal, and it's hard to do otherwise. They're the ones that came up with the idea. They extended the invite to us back in 83. Uh, a lot of my classmates laughed at it. I thought it was an awesome idea, even though I thought it was just kind of a joke. And it, it clearly, with more than 4,000 people here today, it's no longer a joke. It's the real deal, and it's a cool tradition. It's really a cool sort of unifying event over like a lawn game. So it's cool that um, something sort of so beautiful can come out of something random. 